Hello and Guru Scott. On this video, we're going to be doing a couple of hose changes on our 2JZ GE engine. This is on a 2002 Lexus uh, 300 series. And what I'm going to do, first of all, is talk about safety. So before you even start working here, you want to make sure it's cooled down enough to where you can work and not burn yourself. And also, you should always wear safety glasses. So I'm going to take a 10 millimeter socket and loosen these four nuts that go and hold the cover down and I'll get that done and we'll take the cover off It'll take a minute here so let me get these nuts off and I'll come back and show you how to pull the cover okay once you have the four nuts off you just simply lift this cover up it comes off straight off and you set it aside I'll do that and then the two hoses we're going to replace are right back here and right here now if you'll notice here you'll see some electrical tape on that hose this car was brought to a Lexus dealer with a problem with a vacuum leak and instead of replacing the entire hose they just simply put electrical tape on it it's a good reason why you don't want to take your car to a dealer if you don't have to you want to do the work yourself so I've ordered the two hoses and a new um, ventilation valve here and I'm going to show you those here in a second and then we'll talk about how to replace them okay there's three parts we're going to be replacing and all of their part numbers will be in the description on the video so the first one is the hose that goes here and it's Toyota part number 12262-46050 it's called a ventilation hose and then the hose on this other side over here is also called a ventilation hose and it's part number 12261 dash 46051 and we're also going to be changing the PCV valve which um, screws into the valve cover over here and it's part number 12204 dash 46031 now this is a, a metal valve PCV valve a lot of the ones are plastic on some of the Toyotas and Lexus but on this one we're lucky we have a metal one and it threads in it's already got the uh, thread sealant tape on it and um, we don't think it's bad because this has always had synthetic oil and it's only got less than 100,000 miles but we're going to be using this vehicle for some very important testing and so we want to make sure everything's in first class condition so we'll start off with the left hose first and I'll get to that here in a second okay to remove this hose here you're just going to take these clips and pinch them with your fingers and move them back or it's actually easier to do with a pair of pliers there you go like that and I'll do the other one on the other side move it back now you'll notice the new hose has a white line on it the white line matches to right here so we're gonna pull this old hose off and match it that way so that one just popped off no problem at all Woo, so did that one so we have to transfer the clamps over first so I'm gonna do that and I'm going to put them like this and like this and I'm going to slide this over first it's got a little oil on there so it might make it easy to slide on um, I could clean it off and then I'm going to um, slide the clamp until it just past the little bulbous point where it mates up so right here it sort of flares out I'm gonna move it up a little more and then I'm gonna tug on it seems like it's pretty sturdy the other side I'm gonna plug in same thing I have to move the clamp back a little bit and I'm gonna push it all the way forward and this move this clamp again I'm going to, have to use some pliers to get it completely squozing down move it a little past where the bulbous area is just barely let it clamp on there I'll go ahead and rotate these to the side so they're not in the way of the cover and then that should stick on there pretty good I'm gonna to need to move it back just a tiny bit so that the hose won't slide off okay so like that 
That's good. So it's nice and stuck on there. So now I'm going to move over to the other side and I'm going to take the hose off first. And so let me get that done by again grabbing these clamps with some pliers, moving them back past that protective sleeve. And if you'll notice on this particular hose here, it has a protective sleeve that comes with it and that's to keep it from getting chafed or worn from um, the cable here that goes above it. And then I'm going to have to pull this off and I may have to use, ah, oh, I thought I might have to use pliers to get it off, but nope, came right off. And you wanna set it aside so that you can notice the exact way it came off and you can replace it with a new one. So let me grab the new one and I'll be right back. All right, before I replace the PCV valve, um, I'm gonna do that first before I put the hose on. So what I've done is taken a marker and marked the clocked position of this original one. And I'm gonna take a 19 millimeter wrench and loosen it up. So hopefully it'll come off pretty easy. Oh yeah, no problem. So I'm gonna unscrew this completely and probably depending on how it looks, maybe clean up the thread area cause it's gonna have some thread tape maybe left behind and then I'm going to uh, put in the new part so it's going to take me a minute because the car is actually still fairly warm there we go and you want to make sure nothing falls down inside the engine compartment there so I'm going to be very careful when I lift that up and then I'm going to put a piece of paper in there uh, like a piece of paper towel and then clean around that hole. So I'll get that done and I'll come right back. All right, I have the new PCV valve right here in my hand and I'm gonna start screwing it in by hand to make sure I get it threaded in without cross threading. And I'm gonna turn it until it just starts to get a little snug right there. So I need to clock it about another um, 90 degrees or so to get it to the right position. So I'm going to get that done, just a little more. Okay, that's good right there. And then now I'm going to put on the original hose. So, I'm sorry, a new hose to replace the original. So the hose that came off was like this. I have to transfer these clips over. So I'm going to do that. Actually, I should hold them over somewhere so if I drop them, I don't lose them. And then it's gonna go into this position right here. So first thing I'm gonna do is try to get it underneath this cable and get it started on going on there. And the yellow stripe goes up. And so there we go, got it on there. The clamp should be just about right there where the yellow line is. I can feel the little bulge underneath, so that's good. The other one's going to go here on this. And I'm going to put this over the bulge. i got to feel and make sure I've got it correctly fixed on there. And then I'm going to check to make sure they don't want to come off. That's good. That's good, new PCV valve. Now one more thing I'm gonna do is, I notice it's missing a clamp that goes between these two hoses. Fortunately, I stock a lot of these clamps from Toyota, so let me go look at my selection and see what I can find. All right, so here's the solution we came up with. We didn't have the exact perfect clamp to hold these two hoses together, so what I did is I took some of the foam off the old PCV valve hose and put it under here, and I used a clamp number 906, I'm oh, sorry, 90464-00437. So I put it on here and now this is nice and sturdy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on and then um, we'll put the nuts on and we'll put some Loctite on them. And then that'll be it. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, at this point we're ready to finish the reassembly here. So we're gonna put this cover back on. Yeah, just fit it on like that. And then we're gonna put some non permanent low strength Loctite on the nuts and just barely snug them down on those four places and then then we're done. So that's all there is to this video. Thanks for watching. Tschüss.